it's what I ate in a day. You may recognize this coffee from my previous life update vlog. <laughs> I'm just continuing to shoot what I ate in a day. Um, th that's just an insidey little thing for regular viewers. The camera was already set up and I was like, I might as well just bank on what I ate in a day for future, I'm trying to get ahead, trying to be organized here. So I'm just having a coffee, trying to decide what to eat for breakfast. Uh, and I don't know, obviously, what I'm going to eat. Toast may be in the, in the cards here. Yes, I've got a little leftover piece here of a homemade sprouted kamut and rye bread. It's from a bakery here in Toronto called Prairie Boy and I can get the bread uh, over at a coffee shop that I like in the neighborhood. And so there's just a little nub in here. I'm gonna cut it into two pieces and toast it up. All right, I also have this kind of old mango, but it's still good and it's really ripe. So I gotta eat it. Look how pretty it is. All right, there's my toasty toast. And I'm gonna put, I have this little bit of uh, cashew cream cheese. It's garlic and chive. It's from Miyoko's Creamery and I got it when I was in the States. And it's just delicious. It's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna use it all up here. Oh, there's my breakfast. Mango toast with cashew cream cheese. It's a little hard to eat the toast, but it's so crunchy, it's good. And the mango's so ripe that I can just like eat these cubes right off the skin. In a really awkward way. This type of mango, I forget the name of it. I don't normally get these ones, but I realized their flesh is sort of gelatinous like, and it would be perfect to make a mango pudding with. Cause it's like less fibrous than the red mangoes. And it almost already tastes like pudding. Okay, I'm gonna eat that. See you later. a good sound. So I'm just going to a meeting with a bunch of vegans. <laughs> Not a bunch, just two. So I went to Glory Hole Donuts, which I've never had their donuts and they're down the street from me. And they always have vegan ones usually unless they sell out. So I'm bringing them to the meeting. All right, it's 3.20. It's totally brutal out. It's raining a lot. I'm back from my meeting. I had half of the Elvis donut, which had coconut bacon on it, peanut butter frosting, a little jam swirl. It was delicious. These donuts are amazing. And then I took the cinnamon sugar to go. <gasps> mm. Maybe I won't eat it all right now. Somebody's texting me. This is what happens when you <clears throat> mindlessly eat. So I kind of thought about this already. I'm thinking we should try the Beyond Burgers finally in this video. John saved me some in the freezer. I know it shouldn't bother me, but it really does that the fire trucks and the sirens are literally five times a day. Why can't I just block it out? It just irritates me when I hear it. When really I should be thinking, Thank you, I'm so grateful for my life and grateful for my home that it's not on fire and that I'm not dying. 
because unfortunately, some other emergency is happening. Anyway, that's just my thought process. So beyond burgers, we should make for dinner, which means I'm not really gonna eat a proper lunch because it's already 3.30 and we'll probably eat it like, I don't know. Oh, I have an appointment at six. Mm, I don't know. Okay, well right now I'm gonna eat half this orange that I had in the fridge. And I'm gonna eat this hummus. It's, what is it? Roasted red pepper and chipotle hummus. With, of course, a few Mary's crackers. Hopefully dinner will be more exciting if we can test the Beyond Burgers. I've never had them, haven't tried them yet. And I'm actually very skeptical and I'm a little bit afraid. I don't really wanna eat them. But I'll try them just for you. Okay, my friends, it's 8.20, I'm back. I had to run a little errand and go to an appointment. And I honestly didn't wanna come home and cook, but I have all this food, so I should. And we're making what I ate in a day, so I shouldn't just order takeout, even though I wanted to. So we're gonna go and do the Beyond Meat Burger Taste Test, okay? I'm also gonna make a Caesar salad with coconut bacon and cucumber because I really want something crunchy and I want a nice creamy dressing. You know where to get the recipe, hotforfoodblog.com. But I've never tried these plant-based burger patties. 20 grams of plant protein per serving, no soy, no gluten, GMO free. The main ingredient is pea protein isolate. Expeller pressed canola oil is the second ingredient and then refined coconut oil. So it looks like we've got fat and protein. There's also some potato starch, some, some acids, some beet juice, vegetable glycerin. You know, there's really not much to it. It's just the pea protein. 22 grams of fat, five grams of saturated fat. I don't know how many grams of fat a real burger has. Keep refrigerated or frozen and cook thoroughly before serving. If frozen, thaw completely prior to cooking. I fucking hate that. Ain't nobody got time for that. You have to plan in the morning and take it out. Preheat the grill. I'm just gonna cook from frozen. I don't care. Interior product may still be red or pink when fully cooked. Do not overcook. Heat to a minimum internal temperature of 165. That's the thing that freaks me out about this is that it's still pink inside and it looks like a raw burger. Ready to cook. Well, it's not really ready to cook if I have to thaw it. So fail number one. I'm gonna cook both because there's only two in here, which is kind of weird that you only get two burgers. All right, I'll stop complaining now and cook the burgers. <laughs> I'm gonna go low heat and a lid just to thaw them and then we'll brown them. I've decided they really smell like meat or cat food, which is the same thing. Cat food is meat. Okay, they're smelling a little better. I'm gonna turn the heat up. They look mostly thawed. Three minutes aside doesn't seem long enough. Touch them. Oh, they're still frozen. Oops. Lid back on. I guess you should definitely thaw them. Woo, did you see that? Okay, they haven't changed. I'm gonna try flipping. Interesting. Right now these look way more overcooked than the ones they show like on the picture and stuff. But I'm just worried about it tasting like raw meat. I suppose that's impossible. Not sponsored. We've tried to get a sponsorship. No one cares. They got Bill Gates money. They don't need advertising. Although I'm giving them advertising. Okay, it smells like Reminds me of something. Not really meat. Just a bit of residue on the spatula. Mm. 
Okay, I've gotten a nice crisp on the outside, which I, I like that. I mean, just tasting a little bit of the outside crispy part. It tastes like a steak or something, which is crazy. The inside, I don't know where it's at, but I'm adding cheese. I might not eat both of these, but the cheese will be there for the leftover. And lid on, otherwise it won't melt. This cheese is right now my current obsession. Mmm. If you signed up for the Hot For Food blog newsletter, you got a list of my favorite vegan cheeses and this one was number one. Hmm. Only the newsletter people will know what it is. Go sign up, hotforfoodblog.com. You'll get exclusive recipes only via the newsletter every week. I'm just eating this now because why would I store one slice of cheese in the fridge? It's a cheese that I don't think I've put on a what I ate in a day yet. I don't know if I have. No, not this particular one. Mmm, it's smoky. It's sizzling in there. Whoa. I think I'm just gonna turn off the heat. Leave them in there. Because I still gotta assemble and make my salad and stuff and then we'll put it all together. All right, we got romaine lettuce. And we're gonna add cucumber. Even though it's a Caesar salad, I just want cucumber. We're gonna add capers. Just a few. We're gonna add coconut bacon. Here is the dressing. And no croutons, cause I'm already doing a bun with the burger. I had homemade Parmesan in the fridge, made with cashews and nooch and salt. So lots of that. And pepper. Yum. Okay, I've toasted my bun, everybody. We're gonna do some garlic mayo. Garlic mayo on the bottom, I like. Here's the burg. No lettuce, cause I'm eating a salad, I realized. So we'll do tomato, onion, and pickle. And I like Dijon, so I'm putting some of that on the top. Look at that. <laughs> Should we cut it in half? I gotta get a good picture first. All right, I think I got all my pictures. I have an extra burger so I can shoot some tomorrow if I need to. I have made a mess, but let's friggin' eat. Here we go, Beyond Burger. Taste test. I won't cut it, I'll just eat it. And then I'll show you the inside. Oh God. Really scared. <laughs> oh, tomatoes are stupid, they just slide off. It doesn't taste like cat food. That's good. I'm just removing all the toppings because I really just want to taste it on its own. I think you need to overcook it. Because mine looks like meat now. Not like a rare burger. Mmm. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry, that's fucking nuts. But like cook it enough so it's not pink, it's so much better. I mean, I wouldn't consider this pink. I would consider this cooked. There's absolutely no way a non-vegan would, would second guess this if they bit into it. It's almost too much. I'm like, my mouth tastes like I'm eating a burger. Normally with veggie burgers, you're like, I'm eating a veggie burger. It's very obvious. Wow. There's no little particles of vegetables in here. I have to say, I'm gonna make a comparison. I like it. I would buy them for barbecues in the summer. I would feed them to non-vegans and see what they think. My favorite burger, and I would still give it up for that, is the field roast. 
Beast Burger, or I don't know what it's called. The Field Roast Burger. You can't get them in Canada. Very similar in taste, but the texture on the Field Roast is still chewier, which I prefer. But this is good. <clears throat> it's a very close second on this one. With that cheese on it, which tastes like real cheese, and feels like real like sliced cheeseburger cheese. We have no excuse to not go vegan anymore. Okay, I was having really low expectations. I thought I was gonna have to scrap this and make something else. Cause I just, based on the way it looks when it's not cooked, I was like, I don't think I'm gonna like this. And also based on the way I see everyone else cooking them where they're still red inside. But I say, go ahead and cook it more like five minutes aside. Mmm. I did it from frozen and they were probably in the heat for like 15 minutes total. Low and slow. Mmm. I'm just having a moment here. It's incredibly rich. It tastes like you're eating meat. And I know that's coming from all the oils because you can taste the fat in it. But when you're eating it, you're not like, that's oil. You're just like, oh my God, that's fat. Meaty fat. Some of you are gonna be highly offended by my review right now, but I've said it before, but I mean, I get why you like meat. I used to like meat. I guess I still like meat. I wanna feel the meat, but I don't wanna eat animals. And so this is just insane. And I don't wanna hear the complaints about, why do you wanna eat meat if you're vegan? It's not, I don't wanna eat meat. I wanna eat pea protein. But your mouth wants a certain feel and your taste buds activate when all the senses are being, uh, you know, activated. Fat, salt, sugar, umami, uh, vinegar, like sourness almost. All of it's there. You know, I'm gonna have a hard time eating the whole thing because it's just very filling and rich. You know, I don't know, the texture is quite good. I mean, when you grab a piece of it, it just is like, it's ground beef, it's so crazy. Actual ground beef is disgusting. It smells like death when you cook it. This didn't smell great when it initially hit the pan, but the more it cooked, the better it smelled. So I guess that is similar to beef, but beef smells even like it's putrid when it's cooking. Okay, that's enough ranting and raving. Mm. Or shall I say raving and reviewing. I'm gonna really enjoy this. I'm gonna go eat it very slowly in front of Netflix. That was what I ate today. Thank you for watching. I'm back every Wednesday. Subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Lauren Toyota and at Hot for Food. There's always stuff going on on the Insta stories. Mmm. Wow. I'm really, I'm really in awe right now. Okay, gotta go.